That's caviar, guys. There you go. <laughs> you never thought you'd have caviar in your sink, huh? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Mexican Pizza. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to unclog your bathroom sink. So if you've ever experienced it draining slow or just clogged, keep watching this video. It's really easy fix and you don't have to call a plumber. So keep on watching. All right, guys, so let's go over really quick some of the things that you're gonna need for this little mini project. Um, you're gonna need some gloves, of course, unless you like to get your hands dirty. A bag just to capture any gunk, like hair or whatever is stuck in there. Um, a cup in case you get some water. I know I'm not expecting too much water because it's actually just draining slow. Um, and then I have this old chopstick that I'm gonna use to kind of get in there, but of course you can always uh, adapt and use what you have at home. And some paper towels, that's it. This obviously, you know, is the, the thing you pull up and down to kind of stop it and then to re release the water. So that's basically what we're gonna mess with. Let me show you what actually controls that underneath the sink. Basically, you got your cold water piping, you got your hot water piping, and then you've got this main drain that drains your water. Um, but I want your focus to be just on this drain, specifically behind it. Uh, this is the lever for the stopper, so you see me pushing it up and down. You wanna remember, these little holes, this inserts into the last one um, or wherever it is that your particular sink has it on, okay? So just remember that, that's just a tip. So push this back, far back, you see that? Just got unclipped there. Um, we're gonna move this piece out, and remember I told you it was hooked onto there. Take this little clamp off. So put that to the side and then the, you wanna unscrew this. So it's usually righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, so um, this one I'm going uh, clockwise based on the way I'm facing. So I'm going clockwise. That's just gonna loosen up. You're gonna take this cap off. It's basically going to uh, loosen this so you can get it out. So see this, I'm gonna get it out. That's actually the stopper that prevents the water from leaking. So if you have that, that's another problem you have. And this is pretty uh, gunky, you can see that. Put that down. I don't see any, oh, disgusting. That's caviar, guys. There you go. <laughs> you never thought you'd have caviar in your sink, huh? All right, guys. So this is the piece, uh, the stopper. Uh, that's pretty much it. All you need to remove and get to cleaning in there. But first, I'm gonna go clean these tools in another sink. You don't wanna use that sink because then it'll drain the water out from underneath. Uh, so I'll be right back. Wow guys, look at that. You can see how it's the rust has actually eaten through this uh, piece of steel or whatever it is. And over time, obviously this is gonna have to get replaced. So keep that in I'm mind. I'm gonna take this piece of piping out. Just because it's so easy, I'm gonna show you in case you have to do this, all right? Oh, look at all that gunk. Looks like algae. So there's that piece. Smells nice in here too. Monster, there we go. I'm just gonna put that there. Whoa, look at that, there's even saliva. That's probably from this morning. That's disgusting. <laughs> but all right, let me just dump this water out. That's pretty gross. So it's not too much water, but dang, look at all that debris or whatever. Just, you can see there's even uh, some DNA evidence here still hanging from this morning or something. Pretty sick. Look at the piping, holy cow, right? It is sick. It is black, it is gunky, it is gooey, it is disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna clean that out with some uh, paper towels. That's why I got that. You can just literally wipe all that gunk out. It's pretty sick. But yeah, just uh, keep on watching <laughs> if you wanna watch me clean this. Dang guys, look at all that buildup. I wonder whose hair that is. Hopefully not mine, just kidding. Okay guys, so now I'm just gonna clean this uh, stuff out. Now that I can see right down in there, I'm just gonna shove this napkin with this chopstick, just like that, and then pull it out through the underside. The chopstick works really well because you can kind of get in those little nooks. And then, 
push it all the way down. And there you go. It actually looks pretty clean. All right, guys, see, that's just two paper towels with this awesome chopstick, and it's all cleaned out now, so perfect. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get. Look at all that, guys. Very gunky, gross, caviar, bam. <laughs> gross. All right, I'm all done cleaning it up, and there's only one way you can really put this back on. The shortest side goes on to the one on the left. And secure it, and then secure this back on there, this cap. So now, we're gonna grab our pieces again. I'm just gonna put this back together. Just like that. Sometimes, some of them are twist on, some are just push, just like this one. And uh, just make sure that that's facing where the bar is gonna insert. But just drop it in there. And then let's go underneath and put it all back together. All right, so first things first, you wanna grab that piece with the ball. Insert that in there. Make sure the ball is tight on there so the water leaks out. And you wanna grab your cap, put that on first, just like you did when you took it all off. This is hard when it's so, so little space to work with back here, guys. Get in there, mother is it uh, probably left? No, I'm twisting the wrong. Side. Yeah, it's the opposite side. Jeez. Okay. Now that you got this back on there, you want to make sure that it's actually attached to the stopper. Good. It works. The first thing is this piece that goes first. Bring this around, and you remember it was the last hole. At least I remember. And there you go. Put that in there and then just slide this back towards the middle or wherever. And then, there you go, you're back to normal. Now you can turn the water on and make sure this works well, stops it. It's still drain, it seems to drain faster now actually. So that's good, you're all done guys. That was do it yourself at home. No need to call the plumber, uh, you just watch this video and Use it next time for guidance when you have a bathroom sink clogage. It probably took me about a whole, maybe 30 minutes total. That was fun, I hope you liked this video. If this helped you out, just thumbs up the video for me please. And if you wanna subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. And I'll catch you in the next episode. See you later, bye.